Don and Marge Hunter opened their doors 30 years ago with the goal of providing quality food for quality customers. They never could have anticipated then what their business has become today. I think we took it on a, a wing and a prayer. We took one day at a time. We came in with a, our son, on. I carried him in as an infant at two and a half months old. And our objective at that time was raise him primarily, ourselves, and hope for success. And we just worked hard every day. Between the, us and our family, we just worked hard every day. And you never saw 30 years down the road. You saw take care of what was in front of you today. What Hunters has become is an institution. They are open for the season from March until November, and everyone in the area knows when it's time for Hunters to open. It's like a sign of spring. The kids in the area at school draw pictures of what's the first sign of spring. It's the flowers, the robins, and Hunters opening. Don and Marge leveraged everything they had to purchase the building and the two acres of land that surround Hunters. Over the years, they've improved things with one goal in mind, serving their customers. It was kind of run down. Uh, the building is much nicer and bigger. The yard, the playground, everything we did and to improve it and to bring people in and enjoy themselves. Even though they are a drive-in, Hunters also has an additional service. And we do deliver, and uh, that's a big part of our business. A lot of deliveries. Yeah. Uh, to them for Many lunch. of them to Geisinger. Mm -hmm. Nice. And even ice cream. If there is a theme for the Hunters business approach, it would have to be family. All of the Hunter children have worked at the restaurant. Nieces and nephews serve as models for photographs. Even the staff and regular customers become like family to Don and Marge. We're very focused on family. Our, our family is important to us, and so we try to focus on family always. That it's a place that people can come. As your cameraman said, you come with your parents after the soccer game, after the good report card, you know, all of that and then they come back with their children. The menu at Hunter's covers a lot of territory, from burgers and cheesesteaks to salads. Everyone will find something to enjoy on this menu. I think everybody has their favorites. I think if you ask our customer and you said, are you going to Hunter's, what are you gonna get? They know what they want before they even get here. So we have to talk them into trying something new. Marge told us they have a few regulars who have eaten their way through the menu. Our order pretty much reflected our individual tastes. I am a huge fan of cheesesteaks and will order them any chance I get. Tony the intern is Mr. Health Conscious and he had to make up for that chocolate shake at the fence, so he got the grilled chicken salad and Aston likes the basics, a chicken finger basket. We obviously enjoyed our meal very much, but you can't come to Hunter's without ordering ice cream. We have about 45 flavors of ice cream and I couldn't even, I didn't even count any kind of toppings because there's a lot of toppings. So you can change the basics to be elaborate. Um, we serve local, Pennsylvania company ice cream. It's Hershey ice cream, the best anywhere. I don't care what anybody says it's or how fancy they make it. It's pure quality Pennsylvania ice cream. While you're enjoying your ice cream, you can sit at one of the many tables outside or watch your kids play on the playground. The hunters obviously love what they do and never fail to have a good time doing it. Okay, this is real ice cream service, right? Oh. Absolutely. How's your Sunday? Absolutely. <laughs> Homemade brownies. Oh, man. He's doing the heaven face. Thing. Yeah, he is. Yeah, eyes rolling up in his head. Ooh, this is really oh, yummy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a good one. They're all good ones. Oh, yeah. The new one. This is fantastic. Yeah, we try to add a new flavor every week. We try to rotate a new one in, so. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's oh, great. Yeah. So it never gets old. you got to keep coming exactly. back. Coming That's back. exactly right. After 30 years, Don and Marge Hunter show no signs of slowing down. Their customers keep them going every day. We've met some pretty great people, haven't we? Yes, we have. I mean, good we, friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been, it's been a blessing all the way around. From Hunters, we hop back onto Route 11 North, crossing into Columbia County, heading for May's Drive-In, our final stop. We were greeted by Bill May Jr., the general manager. Remember Deborah Rabb, owner of The Fence? Well, this is her brother. In fact, there are 10 May children, and five of them are in the restaurant business. It seems to run in the family. Bill May opened this drive-in in 1956. For the first several years, it was open seasonally, but as business grew, he decided to stay open year-round. Bill had his own special technique for scoping out new locations. When my dad had interest in another location, 
He oftentimes sat at a particular intersection the whole day, counted cars um, to see what kind of uh, traffic was there, uh, and oftentimes looked for a, an old gas station, um, something to that like in our garage to, to turn into a restaurant. There are now five maze locations around the region. Um, there are drive-ins in uh, Ashland, Berwick, Bloomsburg, Hughesville, and Lewisburg. All the maze drive-ins are family owned, have similar menu items, but each has its own unique characteristics as well. The Bloomsburg location has undergone numerous changes since it first opened its doors in 1956. We've had 13 or 14 additions to this building. So there's roof lines that go all different heights and that's why we see a lot of people ducking in here. There are a couple of secrets to May's success. Bill May's real estate prowess in selecting prime locations is one. Another would have to be the mantra that he instilled in his kids. My dad taught all of my brothers and sisters and I um, good food, fast service, and a nice clean place to eat. And that's, that's, I think, what we've all practiced. A great selection of good food never hurts either, and Mays certainly has that. We had um, uh, a big mug on, of root beer on top of the building. We were known for our frosted mugs of root beer. Um, and I think that I read an article that they were 39 cents and you got to keep the mug. Um, not sure what date that was, but uh, uh, we're also known for our barbecues um, and, of course, our ice cream. We do hard and soft ice cream. We have all kinds of sundaes and cones and, uh, you know, banana splits, uh, milkshakes, um, stormers, which is candy mixed up in the soft ice cream. We have uh, uh, pizza that we make in-house, um, quarter-pound hamburgers, honey-dipped chicken dinners, very popular. About the only thing I like more than cheesesteak is barbecue. Everyone on our crew was getting hungry again, believe it or not, but before we ate, I had to ask about another maze original, the trash cans. Been 40 plus years ago, my dad saw an advertisement for them. There's one of them. Um, and he purchased some. There, we have uh, hippos, lions, pandas, uh, there's, there's elephants. An elephant yes, yes. Um, and uh, they're made of fiberglass, and to our knowledge, you can't get them anymore. Um, we've had several stolen over the years. Um, some of them have been recovered. Uh, the majority that have been recovered have been in frat houses up here at the university. Not surprised um, by that. Uh, surprised by that. But, you know, not very many places do you go and you can see that, and you can go, the kids love to feed them. Mm -hmm. I see lots of people leaning over getting their picture taken with them. Over the decades, Mays has endured its share of hardships. In 1972, the Lewisburg location was flooded with water rising to within a foot of the ceiling. A fire in 1977 scorched the Muncie Hughesville location. But the family has kept an album of pictures, articles, and memorabilia documenting the restaurant's ups and downs. It was finally our turn to sample some of the great food that has kept Mays going strong for more than 50 years. If I was a psychologist, I might consider how the food we ordered was a reflection of our personalities. Fortunately, I'm not, but here's what we enjoyed. Draw your own conclusions. Aston ate pepperoni pizza, Tony had a grilled chicken sandwich, and I had a pork barbecue sandwich and fries. Let's eat. Of course, now I'm going to get nice and right? Mm. Now I know what I know for the barbecue. Of course, no visit to Maze is complete without ice cream, so we managed to find room for another cone. We really do have a great job. Like the other drive-ins we visited, Maze has a following among area residents. We have a great following of loyal customers, <laughs> yeah. thankfully. Yeah. Um, you know, there's people still coming here from when I worked here in high school. Um, I see their kids and I see some of their grandchildren now. The loyalty of their clientele and the relationships with their customers is certainly never far from the Mays family mind. My family appreciates the, the business over the years, the loyal customers. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, and their families. And we know people come back at Thanksgiving and at Easter to visit, and they're coming here because this is what they remember, and, and it makes them feel like home. And we just want to thank them for that. In the day and age of big box stores, fast food franchises, and chain restaurants, it was a pleasure to meet the fantastic local people who own and operate the drive-ins we visited. Their commitment to quality, service, and customer satisfaction is evident in each of their restaurants. We've driven through three counties, eaten great food, sampled yummy ice cream, and had a lot of fun all at the same time. And ultimately, isn't that what the drive-in experience is all about? A big thank you to the Rabs, the Hunters, and the Mays for sharing their time and their stories with us. Remember, you can see all of season two on our Facebook fan site, and be sure to stay tuned in November for the beginning of season three of In Your Neighborhood. I'm your host, Jennifer Wakeman. Thanks for watching.